What do you think? Who's gonna snap it off? In my opinion, I think uh, Max has the edge. Mm -hmm. He's a shooter, he plays a good straight pool. I think his high run is also like around 300 balls, so... Let's see. And I think they're both undefeated in the group, so the win of this match will be will be the first in the group and will be seeded. Yeah, so um, we got eight groups, right? And three six players, so yeah. forty. Always uh, top three players advancing to the knockout stage. Their number one seed is already into the last 16. And uh, places two and three playing each other. Yep. To make it to the last 16 as well. For sure, the opening break shot is very important. You don't want to leave an easy shot, and it's important to get the cue while frozen to the rail or like kind of frozen. At least very close to the short rail. Yep. Yeah, and my opinion wasn't the best break because he left the cue ball far from the rail and the six ball, which he just needs to make it enough that he will get a shot for the nine ball, I think. So, just needs to focus on making the six. Yep. And then it depends what angle he has on the nine. If he can break him up. Or he got to play position for the 12 and maybe, I don't know if the 1 or 5 goes. I think maybe the 1 has a chance and then he can break the stack with the 1. But yeah, first he needs to make the 6 ball. It's not a hanger, but he's a favorite to make it. Wow. So, I think he left the 6. I think so. So just yeah, he's looking for the one ball. So the order will be six, twelve, one. Then probably would follow through the stack and open the cluster. because one m maybe doesn't go yeah yeah I was wondering because he left himself uh, quite a lot of angle on the 12 ball yeah now it's important to go into the 15 and draw a little bit yeah the draw was missing for sure that's why the cuba went into the stack but still I think he, he got the three yeah he got so the three so a little lucky because yeah. he could have maybe worry more about the cue wall or take him off the cue wall mm -hmm. so but still he got a shot still a, at the table so let's uh. see how he can recover yeah he needs to find a way to open up the balls when the one doesn't go I think he could go in with the 11 for example or just now but he has to elevate so it's not getting easy to control something here. Yeah. And of course when you break him up you want to have an one insurance ball for sure. You don't want to hope for something. But sometimes 
You have to take it. Oh, did you see that? I don't know what ball it was, but one ball was moving after he shot, so he didn't touch it, but the ball was just moving. <laughs> oh, okay. But that would surprise me if he still can make it one, because he should have played it before. My opinion. If he can play, the if he can make the one ball, then you should go into the fourteen because the fourteen will touch the four, and then the four will devel develop the ten ball as a break shot. Oh, he came too far here. Oh yeah. So looks like the one goes. That surprised me. To be honest. He's looking for the eight ball. Probably knock the 11 ball or what? I don't know That's which ball. That's the 15. 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does the 10 go? Um, hard to say, I think. If it goes, you can break him up again. I would say no, but I am not sure. But to me, it doesn't look like it is going. I think should have played before the 11 and go into the stack because he got the I think it was the 2 ball which was hanging in the pocket so he got an insurance ball oh yeah. you see so he goes into the stack now looks like no try to get to the 1 yeah now he's perfect yeah now no. he got a good angle to open him up would you go on the 7 or what would you mm, do? I think the 14 the best ball to break him up because you can make get the ten as a break shot. Yeah. Put also a bit right of spin so you get back to the center of the table, which is the best spot for the cue ball. So he hit the fourteen, but no spin. But perfect, the fourteen. It's perfect. So you know, needs to find the ball. Before the break shot, of course, but it's the 14 in the rack. I think so. Because you can't, me I can't see it. Yeah, to me it looks like it is in the rack. So what I would do here is playing the four, 14, and then with the seven, jump out the ten. Get out the ten. Yeah. I think this is the easiest path I I see for developing a ball here. Yeah. Or maybe you can also play the four eleven. Because the 11 is really mm, like laying alone somewhere, so you can get rid of the 11 too. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah. Then playing I like it. 11, 14, 7, jump out the 10. Then the 11 and 5. Right. Or maybe he, he uh, takes the 5 as a break shot. Yeah, that, that works too. Because the 11 ball fits perfect for the 5 to play position. Yeah. So we will see. No. Yeah. He's taking the 5. That's also good. Now just get out of the rail. Probably two rails. Looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Good angle. He's going into the second ball, I think. Then he just needs to play with top left spin. The so cue will go to the side rail, and with the left spin, you can bring get the it back to center table. Yep.
Just play top left. A little bit forced. Because uh, with, with some speed you can get like six, seven balls. Maybe yeah. more. But at least you want to have a shot after. Is he playing with inside three rails? Because he's... No. No. But you need to take after cue ball there. He's okay. Yeah. So... I would play the two and leave the four ball there because sometimes when you get stuck, I mean, stuck in the stack, four could help in the end. So I would play the two and try to play position for the 13, probably. Then the 13. Yep. So let's see how he's gonna play. I mean, when you play with follow, I see that the 8 ball will probably move towards the corner pocket. Because the 9 goes into the 3, the 3 goes into the 8. So. If you give it, but he's drawing it. Yeah, maybe the eight ball also got. Yeah, okay. Mm. This is what I was thinking too. He should have played with follow because the eight ball is coming to the bottom rail. So, but he still has a fourteen probably. So I got lucky again. Yeah. But if you draw it, wouldn't you have? Like, just let your stroke out on that shot? Yeah, I mean, he didn't get. He, he came to uh, full of the ball. Mm -hmm. That means you, you need more, more spin. So, if he would have come above the ball, it would support the cue ball coming up. That's why I would have played uh, with follow, because I know that the A ball goes towards the corner pocket. Mm -hmm. So, and now he would have played the 8 ball. But now, now he needs to play the 14, which is not easy, playing with the bridge. So but fa I, f I will favor him to make it. Probably kind of stun draw it, get to the 8 ball. Wow, he played it with a lot of speed, why? Alright, so we see Ralph on an open table. Yeah, he made a run of 18 balls. <coughs> yeah, I can't really see the triangle, I mean, the sign. So it's hard for me to guess which. Yeah, I um. think the one ball could be could be good yeah, this is what I'm thinking too probably one ball one I'm saying the sign of the triangle is not easy to see yeah the the six is way too low but I think the one ball should be good I think the seven is uh, could be outside the triangle too so I think he's probably going to take the 7 or the 1. So if he's not creating another break shot, it must be the 1 now. Yeah. So I would like to play the 8 and go into the 11. Get some room. Yeah. Then he needs to take care of the 6 ball as well. But probably with the 12 you can play position to the 6. Or maybe he doesn't know, yeah. Also good. Oh, he's playing for the 2 well. Yeah. And then maybe draw it back for the 6. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the 10 or the, the 3 was blocking the, the corner for the 10, so just making sure to yeah. solving that problem first, which is not a bad way. Pretty good. Yeah, to be honest, you can play so many ways in straight pool. Right. Yeah. In the end, there's actually no right or wrong. Of course, there's sometimes easy or difficult, because with the cube where you can travel a lot or less, but uh, every player is different, every player plays it different. Just trying to connect the balls, traveling as, um, yeah, just as less as possible. Yeah, and we have so many great players here who doesn't really play much straight pool because we don't have so many tournaments. But uh, luckily, thanks to Peter Bowers who put up this great event because, in my opinion, uh, straight pool is such a great game. You have so many things in the game about QO control, um, playing position all the time. Of course, then you have to break um, break some balls where you can uh, let your stroke out and everything. Tough shots. You know, this is the first time I've ever been here. And my father actually taught me just today about this game, the straight pool game. Uh, the, the key ball, the break ball. Uh, sometimes they had three key balls, he said. But here I guess they're using one key ball and then one break ball. Mm -hmm. So I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> you ran some good racks though. Yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, just broke the high run. It was nice to watch that game. I think uh, Shane had 211. Two I made 10. 210. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I made 213 balls. Yes, sir. But uh, I think somebody else will make more of that because we have so many great players here. Fast. You did it fast. Yeah. That's yeah this that is actually my, my type of. Because when I play uh, for a high run, I can't play like slow because it takes so much energy. If I go for a high run, I always play kind of fast. Of course, in some regs, you have some problems where you have to think a lot. But then uh, I try with a hard break to get, like, probably break out the whole wreck. So. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Yeah. Good from, what, from what I've heard, you, you practice, what, four and one eighth? Is the, is the pocket correct? What? You practice on four and one eighth pockets. Yeah, right. And now normally you make 200. Well, Normally. <laughs> for example, when I practice straight pool, uh -huh. I always stop when I have 100. Because I said just to go, because most likely you play a tournament race to 100 or 125. For example, we in Europe have the European Championships, yeah. and we play in a race to 125. So I just set my goal, making 100. one inning, shooting 100, and then I'm gonna just go, going to uh, go yeah, go for like practicing nine ball breaks, ten ball breaks, or some drills. That's pretty sweet. It's good. Yeah. So Ralph, uh, I think he ha got a good shape on the break ball now. Yeah, looks good. So now it's important to have a look where the cue ball goes into the stack. I mean, which ball he gonna hit first, and then from there he can decide if he follow it, force draw it. So how much speed speed he gonna use? Because you want to have the cue ball right there where the cue ball just now is. So the percentage to see a shot after is pretty high. Wow, look at the spread. Perfect. Nice yeah. cue ball control. Really good. Yeah, I like the break shot. The way he played it. Of course, uh, we have the 8 and 12. And the rest is actually pretty much wide open. So he could, for example, use the 5 and go into the 12. Or maybe with the 3 ball, of course, but I would like to do it with the 5. And uh, the 11 ball is pretty much alone over there. Yeah, so get, get rid of this as soon as you solve every problem. Yeah. And then you just need to go down okay. the table no more. I would have played the 5 and go into the 12. Yeah. Of course, if you don't play it good, you can hook yourself or don't leave a shot after. So there's a kind of a risk. But if you just. But it's so pretty unlikely yeah. if, you, if you go like hit the 12 and then going into the 3, something like that. If no. you hit it on that side, you can 
but he with the three ball, he he probably feels more control. I mean, yeah, yeah um, we we just said it. There are always so many different yeah. ways. So um, whatever the the player feels yeah. com comfy with. Yeah. So as a commentator, it's always hard to predict the order of balls that the player is gonna play. So exactly. Yeah. I think most likely the break shots are always the same for every player. Yeah. But the order, because we're all different. In straight pool, you can choose the ball. You have to own choose. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Cuba where it is right now, he doesn't like it, I think. And going into the balls. It's tough. Probably he's playing the six ball now. I think I would use the six ball and play shape for the eleven now. Of course you wanna break up the balls, but yeah. now he got a good opportunity to get rid of the eleven ball. I think that's what he's trying to do. No. Oh no. Yeah, he's using the three now and Open up there 12 and 8, which is good too, but still. Do you think he's. Uh, oh, yeah, it's good. He's okay. leaving the 11 ball uh, as preparation for the break shot because. I don't think so. If he gets positioned somewhere on the long rail, then he can just like go in line from the bottom rail back to center table if he's got a wide angle and is in an, in a good angle already for the break shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he could also play the 8, 13 and 12 and then come for the 11. Mm -hmm. But that means he leaves the 10 and 7 now for the last balls. But for example, you can play the 10 um, and then the 7 on the side, for example. But oh. as we said earlier, you have so many things you can do here so many balls you can shoot so oh he's running into the nine yeah good shot I think now he has to take the 11 yeah oh he's playing the 10 now and playing for the 11 and then come back for 12 and 7 it's also not bad We will see. I think he's playing the the twelve, eleven, ten, seven. Yeah. That w no, if I would choose a ball, then it would be the ten first, because the twelve is more to the pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But he's playing the ten, twelve, seven. I think. Yeah. Oh, he's playing the set. Oh, yeah, that that's good too. Playing the seven first. Yeah. All right. Looks pretty much he's gonna take the rake too. Yeah. Has a nice break shot. So now it's important. Playing the seven first gives him some more room yep. for the position. Now it's like he yeah. can go wherever he wants. Yeah, you're just going two rails. Yeah. He wants like probably like ten inch out of the rail. So it's pretty much more control. So Yeah. Yeah, this is what he does. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Now he can just come out one rail back to center table. Just put some right spin. Yep. Yeah, right spin wasn't enough. I, I mean. Yeah, he could have done a little more to. Yep. To get a. That's why I would I would have stunned it. Yeah. So make sure you got. A lot of angle, which makes the the shot a little tougher, but which makes it easier to open yep. up the rack. So now he's got to yep. got to work a little more to get some balls out of the rack. Yep, because the number also is has a yes, not too far away from the stick, but still with the angle he has, it's yeah. He won't break up ten balls now. He will break up probably three, four balls, yeah. which you can play. I personally like the the break shots with more angle because yep. you just gotta focus on making the ball and not gonna worry about 
getting balls out of the stack. Yep. So I like I prefer that. So he needs to take care of the cue ball. He doesn't. I mean, he can end up. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see a shot right here. Yeah, maybe the ten has a bank. I don't know if the ten eight combo is on. Maybe the one five mm -hmm. is an opportunity. So. Nothing easy for sure. Yeah. This always is a reason why you uh, maybe end your run because you leave you're not the best angle and then the break break ball is a little yeah. far away from the rack. So he's calling the bank shot. I think that's the the best opportunity he got right yeah, here. Yeah, and the bank shot is actually his favorite to make it. I think that's for sure. But it's pressure, of course. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna draw it. I like it. Yeah. Wow. Played too short. So he made 25 ball run. And this brings Max back to the table. With a good opportunity here. The nice layout. He could play the 14 now. Mm -hmm. But with the 14, he has not really much impact of the rack because the angle is not that big. But it's just important to play the cue ball, not get stuck there. Probably drawing it back to the three. Oh, wow. Okay, he's just. Oh, he got the five there. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, he, can he could use the two ball now. Yeah. I think it's a little tricky to reach. Yeah, for me as it would be good yeah, as a lefty. You, yeah, for right-hander it's not that good. But the only problem I see is going with the two into the balls is then should be I don't no I don't think yeah ball. because if five is blocking the fifteen here. Right. Of course, if he plays it hard, his uh, chance is going higher to see another ball. But I don't think he can play the five and hold it there. So. But he's I think he's playing the two and play position for something. I'm honestly not sure. It looks a little... I can see the table from the commentary box as well. So on the table it looks like he couldn't even make the five. On on the stream it looks like it yeah. was possible. But he came through the balls. So still has the 13-1 or is it 13-11 is it uh, and 1. Yeah, this is 13, okay. So just a little cluster. But the six ball... So it's good for breaking them. So he could play, for example, the 10, 7 and then break it up again. Going probably only into the 11. Maybe the 13 is a break shot then. Yeah, this is what I would do here. Playing the 10, 7 and then with the 6. Open it up. And then you got a break shot. As Looks well. like he's doing that. Yeah, I would do it. Oh no, he's going for the three ball. Okay. Wow. Maybe two rails. No. Yeah, he got two rails, but okay. Think he left himself a little straight on here. I see. He's uh, he's all right. Yeah. Can because the five is far from the rail. Off the off the rails, so he can sheet the pocket a little bit, create yeah. an angle. Maybe he wants to go in the balls with the fifty, but I I, I wouldn't do it. No. I know he's gonna play the seven. No. Mm. I think he's just he, yeah. I think he just went out of position here. He didn't want to go there or land there. Yeah. I think he want to be straight on the seven and then with the six. If he can see the four ball, it would still be possible to, to play the four, seven, six. And if you open them up, you always got the 15. As yeah, an but I, th I think the reason is why he's not doing it because he has to reach. Uh, it's awkward um, bridging from, from above the 11 mm -hmm. and six. So he might go in the balls now oh with yeah. the seven, yeah. but where's the uh, yeah, he will play the 15 after that, I think. No, he's bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, he got perfect now. Yeah. 
Yeah, now it's just going into 11. Maybe slightly touch the 13, so I wouldn't hit it hard. Just make sure you will leave the 13 as a break shot. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Perfect. So what would be your way now? Hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um. Mm. You could play, for example, I don't know, so many ways. I see so many ways, so I can't really decide. Just playing the eleven for what? For the four, and then. Probably the one and then the eight. Or oh, what is his plan? Or maybe now the eight in the corner. It's so tough to call it. Now he's playing the now. Mm -hmm. I don't think you wanna. No, can't play the one ball now. Otherwise, he will lose the break shot. I mean, obviously the eight ball is his favorite to make it, so he could play. So now we are back. Um, yeah, I think you wanted to be have less angle on the th 12 now, but probably come two rails. Speed looks good. Perfect. Nice little recovery here from Max. Yeah, it was definitely tough work here for Max. He came a couple of times out of position. But he managed to run the balls, get the break shot. This is what in the end matters, having uh, continue in the run, leave the opponent in the share. Um, yeah. So the break shot here looks pretty much would follow. I mean, he could also draw it, I think, and come back to the end rail and then come back out, center table. Or he doesn't play it kind of hard, but I think uh, he will play it softly. He's gonna hit it hard with follow, probably. Looks like, I don't know. Yeah, he's following yeah. it. Yeah, I think so. Hard follow. Yeah. I got a little unlock. He got the 14, though. Yeah. He's fine. Yeah, the Cuba was actually going to the bottom rail, but then I got a it badly kiss. But the 14 came in a good spot for Max, where he can easily make the 14 and continue his run here. Well, he definitely had a lot of quality in this shot. Yeah. As the Cuba was over spinning going forward. Yeah. So this is something really important on the break shots, right? Yeah, you don't want to get stuck in the in the rack. Yeah. Yeah, without the bad kick on uh, kiss on the one, Cuba would have been probably free, not somewhere in the stack. But now it's just uh, making sure getting shot after the fourteen because the Q the the queuing for the fourteen isn't nice. So it's awkward, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he could I mean follow the fourteen, play the six after that. If he doesn't wanna put English on it or stun it. 
So I think yeah, he's got to be careful with his hand yep. right here as we're playing all ball fouls. Okay, yeah, that's Came good. Two reds around. So now it's important to get the control. I mean, I think the three ball should be be played before because uh, three ball is blocking the seven. Yeah. So actually, he does not need to break him nope. up again because every ball is. Yeah, I mean, if he free, so if he create room here, for example, playing the f ten ball and then the one on the side, he could play it. Yeah. Could play the twelve then. So, I think what I see is playing the five, then playing shape for the one, one, one with the one. Oh, he's playing a two. Hmm. Wow, I'm not sure about that shot because he still has not a break shot yet. Because he could have played a five ball with the one and then play shape for the twelve and knocking out yeah. break shot, but. And now wow. he's got a little bit out of position. I think he's playing the combination. He could play the combo and then yeah. get the eight ball as a break shot. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised he b choose the way he chose. Hmm. This is interesting now. Yeah. Develop the there eight ball as a break yeah. shot. There he's got it. He got away with it. So now important to leave he could I mean leave the five ball there hmm. can shape forward for the five in the side then could play five maybe he leaves the seven as his last ball um I know the one. Nice, oh, looking for the seven, I think. Or is it for the one? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving the nine ball at last, so he's playing the seven four one. Yep. And then the nine. Nicely done here. Now a nice little draw. Make sure you got a nice angle, which is more natural, so you can just keep focus on the cue ball and not worry much about making the ball. Yeah, nicely done here again. Yeah, that's perfect. Now just probably a little more to the right now where the cue ball is. Um, and then he's fine for the break shot. Yeah. Yeah, good speed. So he extends his lead, forty-five to twenty-five. For Max, the Mad Max. Hmm. Thought he was forty-five. Was it? Yeah, forty-five. Yeah. So it looks like it comes. So to me, it looks like he's got quite an angle. So probably just concentrate on on making it. 
like don't play it too hard depends how confident you are because I've seen so many players like Shane for example mm -hmm. he's smashing the break I mean Thorsten always smashed the break he's successful with that because he's used to doing it um, looks like to me he's drawing it yep perfect Yeah, nice. nicely done It's always good if you come in between the second and third ball because then you have a lot of impact of the rack and like 7 to 80 percent you always get all balls moving which means the rack is wide open after that. Yeah. So now... Is he playing the 3-11 combination? Yeah. So that means the 3 is out of the way which makes a lot of room. No problems on the table. Yeah. I think you will play the 12, 2, 3, or maybe <laughs> he could play the 3 ball now too. If he can hold it, because you don't want to take the risk of going into the 2 or 12. So, But what's the break shot here? Probably the 6 ball. I would like to play the 6. Yeah, I mean, you also can play the 15, but. 13 it's pretty close to the rack. 13 is the last ball before the 6. Yep. Yeah, you could play, for example, the 15, 1, and 13. It's the last three balls. That's still quite early. Because you want to make sure that he's getting rid of the 4 or 5 balls on the right side. Yeah, so what I thought is that he could leave the 9 ball and the 1 ball, which is close to the top right corner then line up for the 13 and have the 6 as the break shot so yeah. that will be my last 3 balls before the break so ah, he called the combination here yeah which is okay too just hit it soft makes the pocket bigger but he's straight in so yeah definitely it's a good shot yeah I mean th there's not a lot of risk he can always play the 2 ball yeah but I think he will play the 10 ball after the combo. Yeah, if he hits it straight, yeah. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. So ne ev now everything is pretty much wide open. Not really problems, no. It's just get an idea which order you're going to take or which are the th last three balls. So with the re rest balls, when they're close together, you don't really need to make the... I mean, force you to play in certain order. He's probably played a 5, then the 4, 15, 14, 2. This is what I see. I mean, depends if he takes the 6 as a break shot. Otherwise, he will take a different order. But yeah, get a good shape on the 15. He'll probably 15, 2 now. No, 14 first. Okay. Yeah. That's nice too. Yeah, that that just secures that you always have a good angle coming from the two ball to the nine, making sure you got the angle to come on the other side for the one ball. So I like that better instead of playing the two ball before the fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yep, the two ball actually secures a good angle for the fifteen and. For the Net. nine, yeah, it, it's the nine. It's a nine ball. Yeah, looks like fifteen to me. Oh, yeah. it's a nine ball. No, it's a nine <laughs> ball. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I I like that way because it's all natural. What's a nine? Wow, surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we should get you some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Just straight out of the rail, leave you a nice natural angle. Yeah. Coming above the short rail to the 13 with a nice angle, and then everything is set up. Perfect. So he's getting the. Oh. Oh wow. Alright, all the work is done. But he didn't play it clean. Keep your concentration for the last ball. Yep. He's still good though. Yeah. So that means 
He's gonna take the lead, 59 to 25. And he continues with a gr nice break shot. Didn't play it clean again, but we got a new club, guys. I mean, ob obviously on a diamond, when it when it's used, the balls wouldn't drop. Yeah. But the club is brand new. The balls are brand new, so. It plays a little bigger and slidey. Yeah. But I also think when a pros knows the table is not easy, he will play it more clean. Yeah, definitely. He has it in his mind. I've seen Max playing great on the World Pro Masters, on the f under four inch pockets. So. Yeah. I know he can play well on tighter pockets as well. So. So on th this break shot, you got actually two options. Draw or follow. Whatever you feel I, I, I like when you have a be more on the left of the break shot and uh, the the break ball is more further away from the uh, for the from the balls. I just like to follow it. But he drew it. Oh wow. This guys is unlucky. <laughs> Definitely. I would have liked to follow the ball, but this doesn't mean it was definitely wrong to play. I mean, you see, all balls are spread up nice, actually. Yeah. And uh, the cue ball wasn't not really in danger to f to go to into a pocket. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, the ball came and knocked Kicked the cue ball in. in. So definitely was unlucky. But this brings Ralph back to open table, of course. The 8, 4 and 12, but I'm I'm pretty sure the 12 ball goes, so he can break up these balls. And uh, with the, what is it, 13? Yeah, with the 13 he can knock out the 6 and 1, and probably get the 6 ball as a break shot. So, but first of all he needs to get rid of the 12, 8 and 4. Yeah, so now he has ball in hand. Playing straight pull means you can position the cue ball everywhere you want as long as it inside the kitchen and you gotta shoot a ball which is outside the kitchen he's playing the two I, I would like to play the two and playing for the 10 or the 12 ball but obviously the two ball is not the not easiest, the easiest yeah. that's why he's choosing 11 playing for the three probably or is he just stunning it for the 14 Oh, it looks like he left angle going into the side rail for the three ball. No, he's standing it. Okay. Yeah, and also a rule which I give myself in straight pull is to break the balls as soon as possible. Because if you take all balls out before you break them up, the wrist that you don't get a shot after it so high so I would like to do it as soon as possible so you will always have a ball at least giving you more opportunities yeah
Okay guys, we're back now. Oh, looks like, I mean, Rav got an angle. But he really needs to put some force on the ball. To push the cue ball out of the rail and get a nice shape. This is what he did, perfect. Yeah, nice angle. Nice shot. following the live scores here and look to me that Albin is on a run because he's leading 112 to minus 1 and I see Albin at the table and has 5 balls left so looks like he's putting up a nice run probably also 125 yeah we already seen some really great high runs the last 2 days uh, we had Shane making 210, we had Viktor Zelinski making 195, we had Yiru making 213, I think we have Mario He doing 182, so it's incredible how, how good the pros playing the game. Yep, that's right. Yeah, great break shot from Ralph right now. Played it good. Um, looks like the five, is the five and six. Yeah. Needs to get that de developed. And of course, uh, he got five balls still as a cluster. But he can play with the fourteen in nice shape to to, to the, the one. one. Yeah, always having the three ball. Open it up as insurance and then just needs to take care of the five and the six who are uh, together on the left side on the rail yeah now he's perfect on the 14 just stop it in have perfect angle to the one break him up Yeah, now it's important to hit the, I think the 13, okay, the ball has a good impact. To all other balls, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he hit it quite soft. Yeah, though. because he want to make sure that he has more control. So now he still got some work to do. Yeah, but <coughs> what I can right see here. from here is when he goes into the 15 and he hits the left side, looks like the tangent line is looking that the cue wall has a chance to open up the 5 and 6 too. Yeah, and he's not got that that much risk on the ball because he always got the seven hanging mm -hmm. in the side pocket so oh no oh okay but it's fine too because with the 13 you can break up the two and 15 and uh, he doesn't want to hit it too hard because then he got the 15 as a break shot Uh, it looks like to me he's gonna play the seven ball. Playing shape for the ten. Yeah, this is what I would do. Yeah, play the seven and then the ten and then with the thirteen open up the two and fifteen. I mean, just wanna slightly hit the two. Did he 
Mr. Tan. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uncharacteristic mistake by Mr. Ross. Okay. And he left the perfect angle on 13 as well. Lesnar back at the table. Oh, wow. Okay, what's going on here? Wow. Okay. Two really uncharacteristic mistakes back yeah. to back. So, what I see here, you got the 13 if you don't get another break shot, but I would use the 5 now. Uh, leave a good angle on the 6 and bump the 2 way. 2 ball to the right side of the um, rack yeah I mean you got nothing to lose if you don't hit it good you still you have still the 13, have 13 yeah. yep. so this would be my my goal here if it doesn't work out I mean yeah I mean you could also play the uh, 10 now and then with the 13 bump to 15 What's the wreck? But no, I would play the five and then the six. Yeah, looks like he does it. That's the right thing, I think. Let's see if he can hit it good. Nicely done. Wow, yeah, perfect. good shot. Good shot. So, and I think. Uh, 9 and 12 will be the last balls. So the order will probably be 13, 10, 15, and then 9 and 12. Oh, he's playing the 10 first, okay. Yeah, then 13, 15, 9, 12. Because the 12 is on the perfect side for the 2 with the right angle. You always have it. You want to have it nice and easy always. So, I think that Albin is on a 140 run here. Not wrong, which is nice. One of the best straight pool players we got in Europe. Yep, he won, uh, I think, already two times European Championships. Yeah, the men's division, which is as well as the Euro Tour, probably the toughest tournament. Yeah, we got so. He made the break shot and the table is open. Yeah, wide open. All right, back to Ralphie. Ralphie. Oh yeah, he has a perfect angle on the 12, getting in shape for the two. Oh, he's going a little too far. But still, still got some angle. I mean, well obviously, when you have less angle, it's easier to control the cue ball. But with less angle, you have less impact on the rack. That means. Yeah. You more work. You have, yeah, you're gonna hit or get l maybe like less balls out of the rack. So, Ralph, what is he doing? Okay. <coughs> okay. I mean, Looks like he can just take the tangent line, stop playing the hard stun shot. Or he's drawing it. But you can also scratch into the top left corner. Or he's playing with the forced um, follow. But I think he's gonna play it like a just stun make follow. Make sure to not stick in the rack. Yeah, that's why he's you, need, you need some follow spin. Well done. 
Nice spin. And yeah. the 11 ball yeah. and the 14. Pretty good. He, he put a lot of spin to get the cue ball. Yeah, and also a nice control on the cue ball. center table. Yeah, really good shot. Good speed as well. So would you consider to, to break him again with the 14 or would you take the 11 no. and take one of the bottom balls to get I more control? I wouldn't play the 14 because it would be my break shot for sure. I would use the 11 and then break him up with the, some of the bottom balls. But I mean, open it up early makes sense for sure. But he's still got like two, three balls. Yeah. Now he's and got a little less room. Yeah. A lot of bolts down there at the rail, so... Yeah. But it's okay. He's favorite to run this rake for sure. Yeah. But still a lot of work to do. I mean, the 9 and 1 doesn't need to break get break up, but... Need to get position yeah. to the 8. But... Yeah. So the 10 the ten ball is a little... I mean, you could, for example, what he could do is draw in the 6, get shape on the 8 with a slight angle, bump the 12, then he can play mm. the 9 out. It looks like he's going for the 5th oh yeah, He got okay. an angle. Yeah. So he will develop the 7 ball. Yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Definitely. Why is he playing the 4 ball now? I think the 4 ball says break shot. Yeah, you're gonna oh. bump out the 1 ball probably or the 9. Yeah. It's also okay. Yeah. Mm. Not too bad. Now and he can still go the same way, playing the 12 and still play the 13. Yep. He's not completely sure here yet, trying to find the perfect way. Yeah, but I think he's going for the 12. He doesn't like the angle though. I mean, you could pl also play the 8 in the side. Yeah, if he I feels think that's what he's doing, yeah. More safe with that. Yeah, just needs to jack up a little bit. Oh, Albin missed. And he, I think he ran like 150, 160. Couldn't he go into the 10 7 right now? Yeah, he can. Into the. Uh, just soft into the 10. Yeah. Oh, into the seven. 7. Okay. Yeah. The angle was there for the 7. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Now the problem down there is completely solved. I would say. Yep. I mean, you could play the 3 ball and then the 10 5 combo. I mean, of course, he can play the three ball eleven, and then with the seven go into the ten. Yeah. Depends what you just like, personal yeah. pre preferences. We said it earlier. There's no right or wrong in straight pool. I know you like the combo. I would prefer well, taking the seven going into the ten. Depends board. what you just right see. If you yeah. don't take much time, you don't see many ways. Because when I play for a high run, I don't like to play so slow. Yeah. Because it makes me feel like I'm getting out of stroke. Yeah. Not you getting just the take rhythm. What you what mm -hmm. you see yeah. the best first, yeah. Don't get straight. Yeah, he's straight there, but he can play sh I think he's got some angle. Yeah. I mean he can play the five now too. And then for the one. Yep. But playing the seven now, going into the ten or just playing shape for the five again is good too. Yeah. Left him a little angle here. He has to hold it for the one. Then probably playing the... Depends on the angle for sure. If he's straight, then he's going to play the 10 ball first. If he's a slight angle, he's going to play the... Is yeah. it 11 or 13? 13. Yeah. So it depends on the angle which he gets on, uh, on yeah. the one ball. But the nine ball is the break shot for sure. Nicely done by Ralph. 
and uh, yeah, I, yeah, he's thi perfect. I think he will just roll it in for the 10 and then uh, leave himself natural angle to get to 9 as a break shot. Probably his goal will be to have the cubo center table, maybe more to the right. No, he's playing with the 13, yeah. Yeah, then what you just shows uh, this, this will be a natural angle. Yeah, so just come out one rail. Yeah. Always running into the line. Which is always good. Ball. Make sure you have a guaranteed angle on the break shot because if you land straight. Oh. Yeah, this I mean is not where he wanted to be. Yeah, of course, but the way he. Um, let us I mean, his shape on a 10 is so natural. Just need to take care of making the 10. Maybe put a little left spin, but. I mean, when you checked up, checked not up, very easy. yeah, you have to adjust the aim a little. But oh yeah, he's see, perfect. he's perfect. Yep. Good speed, good angle. Good job, by Ralphie. <coughs> yeah, we've seen some misses here by b both players. I mean. What's the? I think I said earlier they're both undefeated in the group. So even though when one of them will lose, they probably guaranteed already being in the next. I mean, coming through the group depends. Just if you're first, you're going to be seated in the last 16. If you second or third, you're going to play in the last 32. They will be the third and th uh, second places playing each other. Last 24. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. in the brackets, oh, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. last 32 yeah, and the okay. first eight players from each group get a bye. So for me, it's the last 32. Of course, we have 24 yeah. players left, but we'll be in the last 32 draw. He did not so hard. And uh, depends. I mean, he got an eight for sure, 14, not sure. Um, but what I didn't like here is the draw was a little missing. If you would have drawn a little bit more, the cue wall would have been more like not not below the rack, probably above the rack. So it's always risky to not get a shot after. But he's all right with the eight, I think. He's oh. still on a table. Okay, look to me. Did he miss, but I'm paying attention. I'm sorry. So he could use the six ball now. Going into the 13. But I think uh, with the angle he has, it's too risky to, to get stuck into the board. So, I mean, I don't know if the five goes. Otherwise, he could play also. I mean, the two ball also is kind of in the way for the one and twelve. What is he drawing into the board? No, he's playing for the seven. Yeah, which I like because when you're playing with the seven, I would he's like. He's got a little too much angle, I would say, because I don't know if he can really reach it. 
I would I would play the seven now and go into the eleven. Yeah. Because uh, when you hit the eleven, the, you will get rid of the thirteen and the eleven and open the way for the five and the three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But for right he's a red player. Yeah. It's a little, uh, it's a little different. Or also a little with tough the one. To, to reach. Yeah. yeah. So he will play yeah. the fourteen. Yeah. Then with the seven, but w this makes it a little more tougher. Because there's no insurance ball no more. Yeah, he has to make sure he goes into the 11 ball now. Oh no, looks like he's playing 11 and then the 5. Well, but why he didn't play it earlier? Okay. He's looking like follow. So mm -hmm. he's going into the 6, but you don't... Yeah, he got a 5. Yeah, And a 10. Um, yeah. So if, he's ha if he has to play the five ball now, he wants the 12 as his break shot? Or you think he's gonna take the four into the side as a break shot? Mm, what you could do makes the five ball tougher, but uh, the rest easier is making the five with a slight draw into the one, and mm -hmm. then you open up the one and two, and the rest... Um, yeah, it's quite open. Yeah. But uh, looks to me he's, he's playing for the 13. The 13. Yeah. But why the 13? He's I mean, of course, when he plays the 13, he has the two ball. Yeah, yeah this is yeah, quite yeah, good to make his yeah. way free. Yeah. yeah. So it's also my first time commentating on a straight pool match, to be honest. Never done it before. Same here. <laughs> And uh, making commentary over over two good friends actually. We're seeing them both a lot. Yep. We went to dinner with both. All speaking the same language. We're speaking the same language, Austrian speaking German. So it's actually funny commentating <laughs> yeah. a match from them. We didn't pick the match. I mean, we just said we're going to make commentary. We didn't actually know who's playing on the TV table. So it was a nice surprise for us. <laughs> and it's quite uh, intense too. I mean, it's pretty close. Yeah. But we've had some misses. Yeah. And, uh, oh. We I think he got away with it. He can still He kind of misjudged the angle here, or maybe the yeah. speed as well. He didn't want to touch the five. He wanted to play shape, shape on the five. So it's a big difference. And now he can't really. I mean, yeah, he, he can't really play the five. Yeah, he did not look happy. So maybe the five doesn't even go. I think he has to play the four now. He's forced playing the four. Because. I don't see a emergency break shot here. I mean, yeah, he's looking for the four and then the eleven, and then with the one ball, I mean, you can break him up, draw into it, slide. I mean, soft, and then play the ten for sure. Yeah, play the one and play position. He's playing first the four ball. That's right. Oh, he didn't want to add up there. Oh, he's all right. Well, I mean of course, you never really want to be close to the rail. Yeah, well, of course, the 11 is not the easiest ball, but the tangent line shows perfect for the shape on the 5. I don't know if the 12 ball, 12 ball goes, he has less pressure. Yeah. But he played it absolutely perfect. Yeah. Good job, Ralph. Nice, nice recover here. Nicely done. So now he's playing the 5 1 10. He's playing the five one ten probably. Yeah. Extend this lead in the match. Okay. 
it looked like he was a little too straight on the five. That's why he's he's playing shape for the one in the top bottom right corner. But now I think going over two wheels is pretty close with the twelve, so he has to play with follow, maybe a touch inside. of left, a left hand spin. Obviously, you don't want to end up straight on the ten. You need some angle. You still need to get shape for the twelve. Oh wow. That was close, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, and he looks a little too straight on that ten ball. Maybe it looks like he's got some angle to the to the long rail, which yeah. means he would need to just follow, follow it. it. And no English. Yeah, Doesn't coming need out English. coming out two rails. Back to center table. Because you don't want to make it too wide. Yeah. You don't need to widen him up. You want to come Just short take out. take the natural angle. Oh, oh he's putting oh, okay. a lot he of spin going He had more rails. angle than we saw. Yeah. So that means he got perfect on it. What a shot it was, actually. Yeah, great stroke. Yeah. And now he just needs to make it. Yeah. I would play with follow and a yeah. little left. Because when you... Most of the time, when you follow the ball, you end up on the left ha uh, on the left side rail. So with a with a touch of left spin, come more to the center of the table, which is always better. And uh, you're gonna have more chance to see like a ball. I like those break shots. Those yeah, are my me favorite. Too. <laughs> I just need to worry about making the ball. That's yeah. it. Because you know, with follow, you come to the bottom rail, and with the spin. Probably round center table. I actually learned it from you, so that might be why Maybe. it's both our favorites. Oh. <laughs> Learning from me, it's dangerous. <laughs> 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 nah. But first of all, in straight pool, I mean, actually, in every Just discipline, make it. Don't miss. you should make always the ball first. Oh, yeah. he's and he, he, I don't Too know why he stunned it. Yeah. Stun is not the right shot here. Yeah. Just follow it, making a cue ball g going through the balls. And it wasn't it wasn't unlucky, because with the stun, he forced it actually to get the scratch, scratch because he came in between balls. Always when you come in between balls, never stun it. Either draw or follow. That's the rule number one. I mean, always it sounds it sounds obvious, but as a as an experienced uh, straight pool player. Um, for me, it's obvious always to then follow it or draw. Yeah. So bringing Max back to the table, and the thing with straight pull is, once you made a mistake, it can be over. Yeah, definitely on the level we have here. Yeah. So many great players, and uh, of course you always have l your favorites, or your names like Shane Van Burning, Albin. But to be honest, in a race to 125, and uh, yeah, I mean, in the single elimination, you always have an even match, in my opinion. It doesn't yeah. matter who you play in the last 32. Everybody in here can run 125 and out, yep. so every mistake could cost you the whole match. Yep. I mean, actually losing the, the leg. Yeah. If you don't make a perfect break, and uh, it could be over already. So losing the leg is actually crucial. But we're still playing on diamond table. Diamonds are always tough to play. Yeah. Mm, but on the other side, um, they are refitted. Got a new cloth. Makes it a little easier, but still diamonds are not... Not the easiest yeah, table. Yeah, it's definitely tougher on used tables. Yeah, if they would be used, would be much more tougher. Meaning, yeah. if you just slightly hit the rail on a ball, yeah, will stay. It will rattle in the pocket most likely if you don't hit it like really soft. So right, because the angles on the, I mean, first the deep shelf on the diamond table, but the angles also of the corner pockets are yeah. not really straight. So that means if you so hit it... Actually, it's a pretty honest table because yep. you won't get rewarded if you don't stroke it well. Which is good. Yeah, I like that too. I mean, you have some shots where you have to create angle or play it 
on uh, purpose. Yeah. We yeah we have to we you have to um, play it on purpose into the rail of course, but uh, most likely when you do it you know that the table is going to take it. Yeah. If you don't know or when the pockets are tough you're, you're forced to play it in the center of the pocket. And you just need to know your limits because mm -hmm. on, on on some tables it's just all, especially on a diamond it's just all about how hard you hit it. Yeah. When you hit it softer you can get away with it. Well. But this is always coming out of experience. Professional pool player will always look after um, the things we just mentioned. As Pia said, you need to know your limits on the table. I think uh looked like to me the last three balls could be, or four balls, could be 11, 6, 8, 7. It's actually a nice lineup. Yeah. You could play the 13 now on the side, I don't know how the angle is. If it's straight, you could play the 12 after. Or he draws it back for the, is it the 10 or 14? The 14. So. Yeah. Then the 14. Probably draw it for the 12. What's done it? Now you're gonna draw it, yeah, perfect. Yeah, no. I think my order would be now uh, 12, 3, 11, 6, 8, 7. <laughs> 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 yep, sounds good to me. Connect the dots. Ho oh, ho. <laughs> ah, always oh, playing the 8 first. Yeah. I mean, it's always personal preference. I mean, you could set probably many orders, ball orders, so. He's still alright. What I liked about your way that you don't need to travel a lot with the cue yep. ball. It's just like almost stop, 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 stop. Yeah, stop shots everywhere. But so sometimes you just don't see it. I mean, uh, yeah. sometimes I play straight pool and don't see anything and just go, because I think yeah. uh, if I'm now thinking much, I'm gonna miss some ball. So I just let just it go. Just do it. Yeah. It, well, sometimes you have a good day and it goes right, but sometimes you always have bad days and then. Ooh. He, he, he's got away with it. He's straight in on a 12, so he yeah, can he still... Yeah, he will play the 7. He oh will play the 7. Yeah, that's fine too. So 7, 12, 11, 6, or... Which is actually tough because then uh, you need to worry more about the position. Because I like the 7 ball, which, which is oh connected yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, 1. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. But I think you're right. He's playing the 12, 11, 6. So yeah, that's why I would have preferred playing the 12, yep. 11, 6, leaving, leaving the 7 for the 1 ball. So you don't need to worry on playing position for the break shot because you can easily miss, get slightly not enough angle for the break. With the 7 hanging in front of the pocket, you're always secure having having the right angle, not traveling much. Yeah, but which yeah. also have to be said is as a commentator or from home on a camera you don't have the pressure yeah you don't really need to think much of course you want to think what you what you would do which is right because then you see what the pros does or will do um but uh, as a commentator always easy to say the right way because yeah. at the table you have pressure you have to think about everything need to worry about the cue ball making the ball i think we all know that it's always easier to see from the outside than than being at the table yep. So here he's okay, just make it well he little like overrun it a little but still good. The more angle you have the easier the more to break it up. It's easier because a cue ball will have more speed. Yep. But the more angle you the more angle you have, the more difficult it is to make the ball. So that's why So I like this one too. Just yeah, make I like I like more angle. Yeah, um, don't worry about anything. In the early days, everyone was saying uh, it's too dangerous, too dangerous. But I was like always, I, I like it. I just prefer yeah, the break shot. So this is what I mean. If you have more angle, the cue ball has more speed. The more speed you have, you the more impact you have on the rack, and the more balls you get out of the of out of the rack. So yeah, he's he's got a nice rack here. <coughs> Maybe he can directly create some room. He can play the ten. Yeah. 
Why did he play the break shot right? Good speed, yeah, good cubo definitely. control. He and did a as, nice job as there. As you could see, it was quite effortless. Yep. Just made the ball. And Max and has a nice technique too. He's a nice stroke. Had great impact on the rack, yep. so pretty good. Okay. He went all of the balls. Okay. Let's see what he will do. Um. So what is about playing the three, getting shape for the 15 to go into those three, four balls right there to, to break him up? So once the 12 ball is gone, all balls are free, right? Yeah, but I'm not sure if the three ball passed the two. Okay. And if I would play pl a position for the five, I would go probably only into the nine. Because after the nine, I can play the five. But no, I, I was like playing the three using the fifteen going into here, but yeah, yeah that's what I said. Yeah. Draw into the nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm, I'm meaning that. Okay, he's playing the fourteen now. Go into the twelve. Hold the cue ball probably, or replace 12 with the cue ball, and then he has for sure the shot on the 7. I mean... Or he's going or with two the ball. 2 and 15. Yeah. Yeah, works too. Then into the 9 probably. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you always have so many opportunities when it's wide open. Yeah, a lot of options. A lot of theory <laughs> you can do. So many options. So. so it's always tough to call the right order. As long as you make sure you have a break shot, the key ball, you always will be fine. Oh, he's playing position for the five, I think. No? Oh, wow. I'm surprised. Why? Doesn't make. Oh. It didn't really make Does sense. He have a shot? Yeah, you got the six ball. Okay, yeah. Wow. Right. I didn't really understand the ball. Maybe I will ask him after the match. <laughs> Good speed yeah. though. Nice recover. Back in the perfect shape. following it and then playing the five or is it just pushing yeah and play the seven it's good too nice job so seven thirteen and then get rid of twelve nine yep I'd probably leave the five ball as his last yep I mean when I say l as his last it's before the break shot yeah so the key ball but he well, he can still it. yeah he can still follow it into the nine, hit the right side of the nine, and come back to the five, or play or stun it into the twelve. But I don't like it. I, I would rather go into the nine because you have the five ball for sure. Yeah. I mean, if you like stun draw it into the twelve, he can also get shape on the nine for the right corner, or, or also the twelve. So this this is actually what it looks like. Going, yeah, nice shot. He's forced to play the nine th I mean, he still can cut a 12 in, but the nine is definitely easier to play. You could also take this 12 as, as the last ball or the preparation ball for the uh, break shot. Over two rails. Yeah, I think he's looking at it. So he's going to play the four ball, I think, draw a little bit more of the rail, get a nice angle on five. He's alright. Probably here, two rails, maybe only, no, only one rail. 
Looks like he's going yeah. to. I like it. Good job. Now again, two rails come across. Probably hit the second rail where the third diamond is. Something around there. Yeah, hit it, as I said, on the third diamond. Exactly, but a little too hard. Yeah, he still got some angle. Well yeah, and he comes on a there. bottom ball, I think, which means he can Follow develop. It? No, I would push it more, mm -hmm. like stun it more, and then you can play position for the. Which is it? Let me the see. Eight. Is it the eight? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it come uh, depends, but I think he just needs to uh, hit it hard, stun it into the eight, then he can maybe get the eight to the bottom rail and play uh, play the eight after that. Or is he too straight? I don't know. I think he can play the eight after that. Yeah. Oh, he play. Okay. Play a little with a little more top speed. Top spin. Yeah, imagine he would have stayed down there. He yeah. could have played the two. But he did. I mean, again. in the end, he got three balls out of it. Still good. Yeah. Got a good yeah, shape definitely. on the one ball, and of course, he can either play it with a little. I mean, I mean, not little, with, a, with inside English, swing it around, and play shape for the two and eight, or he goes directly into the stack, which is risky actually. Makes the one ball tougher. But it looks like yeah, he's mm. going into the no stack. Risk, no fun. <laughs> But it's right, I think. Take his chance. Yeah, this is. This happens when you play the ball. I mean, he might have the combination in the side, but this happens when you play it with top spin, because the top spin after the rail contact with the rail, it's like having a back spin. So if you play it with draw or with stun into the stack, the cue ball has more follow spin. That means the cue ball gets, gets through the stack. So remember that when you play straight pool. So I think he got a good chance for the combo. 5 13, is it? Yep. So this is actually a decisive shot here. Look at the score. It's like 88 to 80. For example, Max only needs 37 balls, which is mm, not much. Ralph only needs 45 balls. So it's around three wrecks and three balls. Oh, he made a combo, what a shot. I mean, he got also a little lucky because the combo um, set up pretty good for him. Could have been more tougher. But he still made it, so looks like he deserved it to be s still at the table and continue his run and get his chance to run out the last balls. Still 30. Six balls he needs. Now make the plan. How are you gonna develop the other balls? Open it up, get a break shot, and continue again for the next wreck.
just open up the, the comments of the stream we have. So if you guys have any questions for me and Pia, oh, who just actually just tuned in, uh, it's uh, Pia Filler and Joshua Filler commentating this match. So if you have any questions for us, just put it in the comments. We're gonna answer it. Let's uh, see. So the the match is getting closer towards the end. Yep. Having Max still on the table with a pretty good layout here to line up for his next break shot, which looks pretty much it will be the 15. What do you think? 15 or 4? No, it's a 15. Yeah. What is he doing here? Does he draw? Okay, nicely done. So I think you're gonna play a nice Two follow with a bit yeah. of spin for the six in the side, get straight. Two, six, four, fifteen. Yep. Yeah. That looks pretty easy. Not much you can do wrong, getting natural shape. Good job. So I probably will stun it now. Have a nice angle on the fork, going to the side rail, back to the center of the table, and have a perfect shape on the 15. Continue his run. Okay, so someone just asked in the comments how often do we play each other? Um, <laughs> actually, not really often because we practice together but practice doesn't mean playing each other so we're working together on some drills or different stuff so most likely if we play we play together in scotch doubles Yep. But not really against each other because there's not much sense. If he's running out every wreck on me and I'm just sitting around, I'm not going to learn a lot from that. So you got uh, two options actually. Play with follow and inside because you come in between six and one. That means the cue ball will travel in between the pocket and the right diamond of the bottom rail. When with inside spin you can get the cue ball um, two rails to the center of the table. You just fully draw it because you come then into the six. So he decided, wow, with the left spin. Maybe he misjudged the angle a little bit. Could have scratched there. Yeah, could have gone wrong easily. Because you don't want to end up with the cue ball on the bottom rail when you break up the, the stack. But still, he got a nice position on the six. Couldn't get an easier ball. I mean, the, the split of the balls wasn't the best. But now, he has a good shape on the eight. Just focus on making it with a good speed. Open up the rest of the boards. Doesn't need to worry about everything. Yep. You always got the one ball right in front of Just the pocket. Just have in your mind making the eight. Because you still have the one ball. Nice job. Ding. So if he has the opportunity to make the three ball and uh, I don't know, for example the four and then the 13, if they are straight in, so you can get rid of the three ball, play maybe later the combination and uh, or you play position for the 12 and go into the stack again or in the clusters you have there. You have so many options here. But if you have the opportunity to play the three, I would take it. Yeah. Make the way free for uh, the other balls. Yeah. I mean you could play position for the five and go back in again, but it is no good. I mean, yeah. you can draw it into the 7, if you hit the right side, to Cuba will travel into the 14, 13. You're not secure yourself a ball yeah, after this is what you're going to do. And the 3 ball will be there. Yeah. But, okay, came through the balls, which is okay too. Nicely done, but Max. Thank you, Martin, for saying best commentary ever. <laughs> appreciate that it's our first time doing straight pull commentary but obviously josh is not a great player i can say from my experience he's a great coach too 
so he always can give a great insight of of the game and what is going on so i like your commentary too <laughs> cheers <laughs> <laughs> yeah well to be honest straight pool used to be or still is my favorite game i used to play it every day for hours um but nowadays unfortunately we don't have so many i mean still for practicing it's a great great game you have so many things you can pre i mean play there you have the positional play you have control of the when you go into balls seeing the angles and also with the speed and stuff you have so many things you you learn there but uh, unfortunately we don't have so many tournaments anymore luckily peter boris and also a big thank you to him what he put up here great event yeah absolutely and we the nice support from the players as well we have so many great players here we have shane van burning we have albin ushan the current world number champion yeah it's unbelievable yeah we're having a great tournament in a great pool hall the q masters yeah. in virginia so um, oh, they have 75 pool tables in here yeah, <laughs> it's 75 it's a huge place i think that's a place where the u.s open nine ball championship was born right back in the days from barry berman so quite quite a history in this pool hall right here so it was edward is asking uh, if either one of us is planning to go to the derby city classics next year um yeah hell yes <laughs> we one both of our favorites we yeah <laughs> it's my total favorite tournament i mean besides the world tournaments of uh, for example the US open and the uh, world nine ball because derby you have so much action there action means you have so many disciplines playing every day for hours and hours maybe you have a rest of two three hours a night yeah depends uh what you're doing how you're doing in the tournament as well but it's it's great you just yeah. can play pool 24 7 so for for someone who really loves to play all day long and who loves to play all different kinds of of pool meaning all different disciplines it's just a great event so many people there it's just a lot of fun yeah so n for every pool player who loves pool and wants a lot of action playing 24 7 for I don't know, it's like 10 days. You should go to the Derby City Classics. Yeah. It's just a dream. It's a pool player heaven. That's for sure. I mean, of course, we, we, you're going to play games which you normally, for, for example, for a European, um, normally don't play, like Bank Pool and uh, One Pocket. But you also have the Nine Ball competition there. You can watch the 10 foot big, f I mean, the 10 ball Bigfoot tournament where 16 professional pool players are playing it out for the Derby City 10, fall, ten ball Bigfoot uh, title. And now right here, Max is perfectly on his key ball for the break shot. Yep, nicely done, nice little draw, yeah, Taking perfect. Taking a 114 to 80 lead about Ralph's. Yeah, okay. and uh, this could be the end. I think I won't be wrong if I say that's probably the end. So what I see here is I would totally draw it because you come in between I mean, it looks like to me, from here, you come in between the 4 and the 11, that means if you draw it, you come to the side rail, like where the second diamond is. Depends how much speed, if you play it uh, with a lot of draw and play it soft, you come more above the second diamond. But if you play it with a good speed and draw, you come around the second diamond, maybe half diamond above. So, for sure, you get a lot of impact on the wreck again, yep. meaning he will with a pretty high percentage have a shot after oh. it. Okay, he didn't came in between, he came fully into the Yeah. So he ball. completely drew it. Which is fine too. I mean sometimes you kinda ha um have a risk to scratch on the top right then. But uh in, in this way it worked, I would say. 
So he's played it with a lot of confidence. He only needs 11 more, or now 10 more balls. So. Um, yeah. He can leave five balls on the table. No, four. He needs 11. When he was playing the break shot, he needed oh 11 yeah, yeah, balls. Yeah, that yeah, means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Playing e8, playing position for the 15, and then he can go into the 9, for example. Obviously, he's playing the 11 first. It's also good. But I would play the uh, eight ball, playing shape for the fifteen, going into the nine, break up the four ball. So as he doesn't need to to break no more, he's a little bit more loose with his shot selection. Or well, he, he still needs to de develop the f nine and four. Yeah. At least. Oh. But doesn't need to worry about a key ball no more or a break shot. Just figure out the the four and the nine, solve it, and then you're done. Yep. Just keep up the concentration, making the balls. Don't get too loose towards the end, and that's it. Yeah, just take it home. <laughs> the W. Yeah, I would I would have liked to play the eight first, and then with the fifteen break up the nine and the four. But maybe you see something different here. Playing the 8 and the 13, yeah. 8, 13, and then maybe the 15 and break up the balls. Sooner or later he needs to do it, because he needs to lay 4 balls at the table. And the uh, 5 balls are clustered. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he going into the rail first? What is he planning to do? Is he, I don't know, is he trying to play position for the 10? Maybe. Oh, da, da, da. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa. Wow. We saw this ball earlier sitting in a pocket from Ralph. Yeah, but, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Yeah. same same ball, and just I think he hit it the same way, so just maybe a little harder. Well. But Max uh, got away with it. Yeah. And I think uh, he's glad that the, the ball found gravity. <laughs> <laughs> So well, as I said earlier, that I think uh, will be over. It looks like. I mean, still he needs a little work. I mean, a little work need to be done here. But his way will be the 14, the 7, 6, and then probably shape for the 9 and 4. And he got a big window there. I mean. This is the end. And Mr. Max. Lechner. Or Lechner. <laughs> <laughs> well when, once you, you start speaking English, you're trying to pronounce the mm. German names in an English way. I mean, you way, just hear it in America. Which sounds weird, but... <laughs> For us, yeah. And I get called Josh, not jo Joshua. Well, it's ah. alright. You get used to it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, this is the key shot right here. Is he w does he really want to go there? Wow. I would just play it soft with spin. And then for the nine, either side or corner or, or the four ball. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't want to take the risk and go into the balls again. Because you don't have real insurance. Just play it with spin. Soft and spin. But it looks like he want to go into the balls again. Yeah. Take the risk. He did where he, where he pointed at and got a good got shot. A shot. This is the last ball for the match. And this secures, I think, him uh, the first place in the group. So he's seeded. Good job. Yeah, good match. It.
congratulations for our two Max Lechner. It was a great, I mean, good quality match. Yeah. Some uncharacteristic mistakes, but we had some nice runs here, nice shots. And he's still been able to pull it off. Yep. So congrats for that. Uh, we enjoyed doing some commentary for you guys. We hope you enjoyed it as well. And maybe we see you back <laughs> here soon. So everyone have a good night or back home in Germany a good morning. <laughs> and please for all the spectators, it would be great if you can uh, share the stream everywhere and uh, like it, leave a like there.